Yo, what's going on out there, guys? It's Roll Easy here, and I'm back with another solo money glitch, all right? All the other money glitches got patched, so, you know, or the other ones that involve the Oppressor or the Deluxo. So, right now, I got for you a workaround. We're going to be using streetcars instead, and we're using another similar method that was come up with, you know, before. We've had a lot of contributors to this glitch, so I'll leave all the founders down in the description. Uh, you know, shout out to all those guys who contributed. Now, what you're going to need for this glitch is you need a facility, obviously. It needs to be full. Throw a bunch of RH8s or Fagios in there or just vehicles that you don't mind overriding. Uh, just make sure it's full. That's the main thing. Now, what you need to do is you also need a Pegasus vehicle. Now, I'm going to be using this buzzer chopper. You're going to want to call Pegasus for the chopper. It can't be a CEO or anything like that. So just make sure you're calling Pegasus for a vehicle. It could be a truck, anything like that. I'm just using a buzzard. All right. Apart from that, you also need a Benny's vehicle to duplicate. All right, Benny's vehicles are the ones that sell for the most. The LG Retro Custom is the best one. All right, sells for almost a million dollars. You need a custom plate put on that retro, all right, or whatever car you're duplicating, okay? Make sure you have a custom plate that is very, very important. All right, I know I was going to take a break from these money glitches, and I did. Haven't posted one in like two or three days, but all the rest got patched, so you know, I need you guys to make some money, all right? That's what I built my channel off of. So I'm definitely going to help you guys make money. I'll never stop doing that. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Uh, we've got everything we need. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, what you see me doing right here is I'm parking my Pegasus vehicle. You want to get it as close to the yellow circle as possible. Uh, I recommend getting it to where you get this alert right here. All right, you're going to see this alert pop up on the left. You see that? You cannot enter the facility with this vehicle. You want to go far enough just to get that alert. So I'm pretty sure I should be good right here at that yellow circle. It's like right behind it. It's close enough, I think. So now what you want to do is go ahead and go down to the street, wherever you are. Find a vehicle. I recommend one that can get a decent amount of speed and, you know, is not too, too heavy. All right. So this vehicle isn't the most ideal one, but I did grab it. It was my first time hitting this glitch. So... We're going to go ahead and get the facility full alert, open up your Xbox or PlayStation dashboard, and then close it. Then open up your interaction menu. Now, the name of the game is you want to basically drive off of the edge of the facility, and you want to open or close the interaction menu right before you drop off. So pretty much right there, but I uh, mistimed it there. I closed the interaction menu too late. So here is a success, all right? So I'm driving, close the interaction menu, boom, okay? I got the facility full alert. I am off the facility. As you can see right there, I'm completely off of it, except that alert. But your very first time you do this, you will get kicked out of the streetcar, okay? That's all right. I don't know why I stood here for a little bit, but you can go ahead and get back in the streetcar and try again, all right? What should happen is you would want to get sucked right into the facility when you drive back. Obviously, it's not going to happen. I get the full alert. So go ahead and dashboard uh, one more time. Open up the dashboard and close it. Then open up your interaction menu. Now, I'm going to show you what happens, though. And that only happens the first time in that session, all right? It'll never happen again. Now, I got the facility full alert again, but look at this. I accepted the alert this time but look where my back tires are they're on the facility so i'm gonna go ahead and get sucked in that's not what you want that's a fail all right so i'm just gonna deny the replacement and uh you know confirm it then i'm gonna go back outside and try again the good thing is that pegasus vehicle will remain there you don't have to touch that anymore okay that will remain there the entirety of the you know the time you're doing this glitch so now i'm making my way back up and i need to go grab another street car all right because that one is gone completely so remember where it kicked us out of the vehicle that won't happen again all right that only happens your first time trying to do this glitch in the session all right you can do this in an invite only whatever you guys like this is an invite only and it works on playstation and xbox 4 and i believe on pc as well so uh here we go i'm gonna go ahead and get the facility full alert i'm gonna open up my dashboard and then close it up now that I've done that, open up the interaction menu, and I'm going to go ahead and get a medium amount of speed, I would say, and you want to drive off the edge of the facility, but right before you drive off, close the interaction menu so that you get the full alert. All right, so here we go. Medium speed, close the interaction menu, boom. Okay, I know I'm off the facility. I'm going to accept that alert. Look how close I am too, and I still got it. As long as the back wheels are off the facility, you're good. And this is what should happen when you go back. You get auto sucked in just like that, all right? So now that we've successfully done that, we're going to get the replacement screen. You want to cancel the replacement and confirm the alert. Now, what you want to do is go ahead and go to the yellow circle, hit exit facility, all right? Now, once the screen turns black, you want to start spamming Y or triangle, okay? So I'm spamming right now. Spam, 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 keep spamming. You're going to end up outside, and your guy's walking towards the vehicle now. 
you're going to be able to hear it in the background. He's walking towards the vehicle. He's going to get in and he's going to start it up all behind this alert. OK, you want to listen to it. So as you can hear right here, the, uh, you know, the buzzard attack chopper right now, the blades are going. I'm going to go ahead and accept that alert and then you can go ahead and hop out of the vehicle. Now you're ready to go ahead and get your duplication glitch going. So I'm going to call up. Well, first, your very first time doing this glitch is very important. You need to kill yourself. All right. This is the only the first time you do the glitch. After this, you don't have to kill yourself anymore. All right. Uh, at that step. But your very first time you do need to uh, take the easy way out. So now I'm going to go ahead and call up my mechanic and I'm going to get an, my LG Retro that has a custom plate out and ready. Now if you have a Retro in your special vehicle warehouse and you can call it there with no cooldown times, even better. You can do this glitch 10 times faster that way. I just don't have one on this character. So I went ahead and I called up my LG Retro. Here it is spawning, spawning super far. So now, and uh, excuse my voice if I sound a little weird, I'm kind of sick at the moment. But uh, yeah, here's my LG Retro Custom. I have a custom plate on it, and I'm going to go ahead and pin this somewhere where the driver's side door and the passenger side door are both wedged, okay? You want to be able to sign in as the Motorcycle Club president, so sign in already if you haven't, and wedge the two doors. If you press Y or triangle back and forth, you should spawn in and out of the vehicle. Now open up your interaction menu, hover over return vehicle to storage, hit A and Y at the same time, and that would be X and triangle on PlayStation. Done correctly, interaction menu closes, and you're in the vehicle. You guys know it, man. We've been doing this style of glitching for a while, all right? These facility glitches just ain't dying. So once we're at this point right now, go ahead and drive back to the facility. You're going to get the full alert. Accept it. You saw there on the top left. You cannot enter the facility with this vehicle, but it still let us in. That's how you know this is a duplicate, okay? So here we go. We're going to get the full alert or, you know, the replacement alert. Go ahead and just replace over one of those vehicles you don't care about in the facility. And there you go. You got yourself a dupe. So we're going to go on and rinse and repeat in this real quick. Go ahead and exit the facility. The great part about this glitch in that Pegasus vehicle is that it ain't moving. That buzzard, you'll see when I get out, that buzzard is still there on the right hand side. So you just got to keep that Pegasus vehicle that you have right there. Now go ahead and grab another streetcar. Now I wanted to show you the second attempt because I hit it so fast here. You see, I was about to get the same streetcar I've been using, but I failed a bunch with that. I was like, you know what? Let me try this one. This one so far is the best street vehicle that I have used. And you're going to see why I'm able to hit this first freaking try. All right. Uncut right here. First try. So I'm going to drive up to the facility and I'm going to get the full alert. All right. Go ahead and open up your Xbox or PlayStation dashboard and close it up. Open up that interaction menu and then remember get medium amount of speed and you want to close the interaction menu right before you drive off so here we go close all right i know i'm off of the facility i'm going to accept that alert all right as long as the tires are touching the grass you're good and then drive back and boom you get auto sucked in just like that so you see that guys i hit it first try so i recommend a smaller vehicle that gets some speed so now you're going to get the replace screen go ahead and press b or circle and then confirm it okay so now we're going to head over to that yellow circle again accept the exit facility and then right when the screen turns black remember start spamming y or triangle all right just keep spamming it keep spamming 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 all right you guys know the drill so i'm walking over to the pegasus vehicle now the facility full alert came up sometimes it'll come up earlier sometimes later it's all good if you did the glitch correctly it should work so and now as you can hear in the background i'm in the chopper he's starting the engine and uh make sure the blades are turning if you're using a helicopter Go ahead and accept that alert. All right. I've accepted that alert. And now remember, I don't have to uh, take the easy way out because I've already done that once before. So you're going to see right here that, yeah, you don't have to do that whatsoever. You won't get kicked out of the car. Those occurrences only happen the first time you do the glitch in that session. So I got my Benny's vehicle right here with the custom plate. LG Retro Custom sells for this one sells for like 980 grand. All right. Great, great car that we made over here. So once again, I'm going to go ahead and make sure you sign in as a motorcycle club president. Wedge the passenger side door and the driver's side door. All right. Go ahead. And when you think you're in position, spam wire triangle. I'm going in and out of the car. Open up that interaction menu. Hover over return vehicle to storage. A and Y at the same time, X and triangle at the same time. Boom, we hit it, interaction menu is gone and we are inside the duplicate. Make sure you don't get out of this car or it will just disappear completely. So now drive back over to the facility. You're gonna see that message pop up on the left also, accept that full alert and we're on our way in with our second duplicate, just like that, all right? So 
now we're gonna get that replace screen remember replace over a vehicle that you do not care about and there we go guys we've made two duplicates in this video nice and easy both of them with custom plates so they're clean dupes now you can't sell them right away because look what happens when you drive out they get bricked just like all these other gift cards to friends and everything that we've been doing and uh, yeah so what you got to do now if you want to be able to access that vehicle either swap to your second character and then swap back to your first or you can go ahead and close the application and then start it back up and you'll have full access to these vehicles and you can drive them sell them do whatever you want with them remember follow the daily sell limit rules uh, speaking of gift cards to friends before I will be posting that as my next video and uh, hopefully doing a live stream soon about it all right as long as it's not patched so that's gonna be it for me guys I hope you enjoyed the video my name is roll easy make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're brand new turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content road to 25,000 subs peace